got up at 6.30 this morning. We are trying to catch the first bus out of Krakow on the way out to Auschwitz. We didn't realize that you needed to book like two months in advance to get a spot to go. Even though it's completely free, you still have to like reserve a spot unless you get there before 10 a.m. So that's why we're up so early. The Schindler Museum yesterday kind of gave us a taste of what to expect today. So it's gonna be a pretty heavy day. Maybe kind of hard to vlog. I'm not even sure how much we're gonna be allowed to vlog in there. So we'll see. As like sombering as I'm sure it will be, I'm like really excited about going and learning more about it. It's probably like the biggest reason we came to crack out. But first we're getting some coffee. It's early and cold. Yeah, what it was like 85 degrees the first two days and it's been freezing the last two days. Just picked up Charlie and Joe from their place and now we have like a 30 minute walk to the bus station. Some kind of circle pretzel looking things. I think downstairs. Just one or two. Why is this bus so dark? I don't know, I'm just happy we got a seat. We're on our way. Chinkuya. We made it before 10. Got our tickets, about to head into the museum. Like Kara said earlier, not sure how much we're gonna be able to film. Not sure how much we'll really wanna film anyway. I feel like the gloominess of today has really set the mood. It might just be like so somber after we come out that the vlog just might, yeah. <laughs> inside Auschwitz. It was a pretty crazy feeling just getting off the bus and getting a coffee and walking in when we are learning about the Jews that showed up here and immediately went to a gas chamber or were tortured. So it's gonna be a sad day. It's crazy to be like standing somewhere where somebody was probably killed. Mm -hmm. I think 1.1 million were killed just in this camp.
Well, it took us over two and a half hours to finish the first camp. And there is a second one that's between like one and two kilometers away that you can either ride a bus to, which we hear is extremely crowded, or you can just walk. I don't even think we'll try to sum up the first part. We're gonna go grab a bite to eat and then head to the next one. bus was actually really efficient. Apparently now it's running every 15 minutes and it was like half full. Glad we didn't walk. It is a quarter till one and we are about to start our tour of the second camp. This was more of the killing camp from what we've learned. Didn't think it was possible but this one already looks way more bleak than the first one. This is the remains of one of the old gas chambers. Before the Red Army came in and liberated everybody, the SS officers blew it up with dynamite to try to cover up the things that they've been doing here. This would have been the entrance. This wide opening right here would have been where people got undressed. And then as you went in, the little part that shoots off to the right is where the actual gas chamber was. And then as you go further in, that was where they burned all the bodies. This area right here would have been the gas chamber where people were executed. three o'clock we got here at like 9 30 and we just finished the second camp which means we're officially done for the day it's been a big day this camp was much different than the other one the other one all the buildings had been kind of converted into museums with all kinds of information and then this camp was more just raw like how it was untouched there were ruins there were like barracks where they lived that we could go in. The railroad tracks where they brought in thousands of people every day. It was just so bare and quiet. It was really strange feeling. Yeah, it was crazy. We to go over there. Well, we're gonna get on the bus. It doesn't leave till every 15 minutes. It was definitely worth the day trip over here. It's crazy seeing something in real life that I've learned about in school so many times and just knowing that this was not that long ago just blows my mind. So we ended up spending like six hours here. I think if you book a tour, it's like three and a half. I'm sure we would have gotten a lot of good information on the tour, but I really enjoyed having the extra time to be able to like go and spend more time with the things that we wanted to see. Plus like getting the bus out here was super easy. And the tour groups are big and obnoxious and loud. Really don't want to be a part of that here. But if you want to come on your own and you haven't booked like two months in advance, remember you have to get here before 10 a.m. This is the bus that we're getting on the ride back and we don't want to miss it so we're leaving. 